Hey, what's up, Solar Family? It's James here. How are you? Hopefully you're doing amazing. In this video, I wanna go over a tip that's gonna help you save a whole bunch of your deals, right? This is probably gonna happen uh, more than likely when you're on a Zoom meeting. Right, so let me set up the stage really quickly on what happened to one of our students uh, this week, right? So what happened was I helped her close the deal uh, this week and when we ran the homeowner, unfortunately that homeowner's credit was locked, right? So we're like, darn, you know what? The homeowner's super excited. They wanna move forward. We ran the credit, it was locked, right? So you know how some folks lock their credit so nobody can use their credit to open up any like accounts or whatnot. So that was the situation for this particular homeowner. But the wife said, hey, you know what, honey? Uh, my credit is not locked, so let's go ahead and run my credit. But unfortunately, if you guys use Solo, right? If I wanted to rerun a homeowner using the same Solo uh, proposal, I have to recreate it, right? And able for me to rerun a new homeowner. So with Solo, unfortunately, it takes a little bit of time to make a revision. Normally it takes about 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes a little bit sooner to get a, get a revision back from Solo so we can run the new homeowner. Since I knew that this revision was gonna take at least 20, 30 minutes, I told the homeowner that we're gonna get back with them and then we're gonna go ahead and you know sign all the paperwork or whatnot then when we get the revision. So we get off the line and I tell my student that, hey, I can't jump back on the line anymore. I had other meetings, but you know, once the proposal comes back, go ahead and pre-approve the homeowner. But unfortunately what she did was she got back on the Zoom with the homeowner, got the homeowner pre-approved. But as you know, or may not know, uh, once you get the homeowner pre-approved through LoanPal, they have to actually complete the application on their end, right? LoanPal is gonna email them the final application they have to fill it out and from there, that's a signed deal, right? But unfortunately, what she did was she pre-approved the homeowner and then from there, she told the homeowner to complete the final application on their own, right? So that's the mistake right there, right? You never ever leave it up to the homeowner to fill out or complete the paperwork on their own. You have to stay on the line with them on a Zoom, or even if you're face-to-face, -face, right? You can't pre-approve them and, uh, and tell the homeowner, hey, you know what, the email's on its way to your inbox. I'm gonna take off, go ahead and take care of that, right? Because what happens is, if you don't wait on the line with them, whether you're on a Zoom or whether you're, you're on face-to-face, -face, that homeowner will probably get that done never. Does that make sense? Uh, you want to make sure that you're walking it all the way through, that you're there helping the homeowner all the way through to complete the application. And it goes with the installer agreement as well, right? You can't just, you know, pre-approve the homeowner. Even if you walk them through the loan pal application, you got that done. You can't just send them the installer agreement and just hope for the best that they sign it. Because at the end of the day, more than likely, they're not gonna sign it as quickly as you want them to sign it, right? They may get to it when they get to it. And that could be you know weeks or months down the road and you don't wanna be chasing them later. So the moral of the story is, when you have the homeowner you know, there, they're ready, they're hot, right? When you pre-approve them, make sure that you're walking them through to complete all the paperwork before you log out of your Zoom or before you walk out the door because it's gonna be very, very difficult to chase the homeowner later when you could have got everything done right then and there, right? So that's the moral of the story. If you stay with the homeowner all the way through, more than likely, you're gonna be able to pull this job through a lot faster than waiting for the homeowner to sign the paperwork when they can, right? So if you wanna dive in deeper, maybe you're new in the industry, or maybe you want a lower red line, or you're looking for high quality solar leads on demand, Make sure you book your solar strategy call. It's going to be a pop-up right above this video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you smash the like button so this video gets shared to all of our solar family. Other than that, have an amazing day. Goodbye for now. Peace.